With the 11th section in the 2017 entry draft, the Los Angeles Kings select from the OHL, Windsor Spitfires, Gabriel Velarde. All right, Pierre doesn't turn 18 until August 16th, but he's regarded as one of the best centers with size. And that's Mark Gennetti making the pick for the Los Angeles Kings, one of the hardest working scouts they have in their organization. And talked about the Windsor Spitfires, Wayne Gretzky played for the Sault Ste. Marie Greyhounds when he played junior. But there's Gabe Velarde. Biggest question about Gabe Velarde, Craig, Bob, and Liam, does he skate well enough? Because we know he can score, but that's the biggest issue to the next level. Can he skate well enough? Five of the 10 scouts I surveyed for our rankings had Gabe Velarde in the top five. So first thing LA King fans should realize is that this draft is very much about interchangeable parts between five and 15. So even though we're saying there's a question mark about his skating, and there is, he looked really quick at the Memorial Cup. The scouts raved about his performance there. Last summer at Canada's under-18 camp, he was by far, and by far, the best player. He looked plenty fast enough there. He had a knee-on-knee -knee hit with Michael Rasmussen, was taken out, and was not able to play for Canada at the under at the Ivan Olenka tournament last summer. So the question then becomes, in those instances where he'd had, had a lot of time off before the Memorial Cup, he'd had a lot of time off before the under-18 tournament. Is this a situation where maybe when you play more games, fatigue gets to him a little quicker. He works with Barry Karn, the power skating coach for the Minnesota Wild in Minnesota. He's going to spend the entire summer there working on that. I think this is a great pick for the uh, for the LA Kings. Let me tell you this. Back in 2005, Anze Kopitar was the 11th overall pick. And I'll tell you why he was the 11th overall pick. There was concerns about his skating. Yeah. And, you know, he was a big man, and they didn't know how quick he would move. But we all know what Anze Kopitar has come. Gabe Velarde has a lot of similarities to Yarmer Yager. That big body, try to go through me. Because once I get an, an edge on you, you cannot get around me. And, you know, Yager was comfortable holding the puck. So is Gabe Velarde. And they're not going to give it up. They're going to force you. They're going to wear opponents down as they try to check you. And because they're big and they're thick and they got excellent hands, that's one of the things about Gabe Velarde. Outstanding hands and the ability to maneuver them into big-time advantageous positions. So if you don't get on the right side of their bodies, their skill takes over. His hockey sense is elite. He's compared himself to John Tavares, and you also have to wonder if part of that comparison is the fact that John Tavares had his skating questioned as well, but he could play. He's a playmaker, and obviously he's one of the elite guys in the league right now. Let's go down to the floor. Catherine Tappan is with Rob Blake. All right, Liam, thank you. Rob, your first pick as the general manager of the Los Angeles Kings, you choose Gabe Velarde. What made that decision for you? Well, obviously, I think Mark Unetti and Mike Foot and their staff, they, they put a tremendous amount of work in through this season with the list, and taking over kind of last process I, I got to you know get involved here in the late stages so I relied heavily on them and uh, it, it, you know we're, we're excited about this. Did the performance that he had at the Memorial Cup kind of solidify where you guys stood with this player? Yep and, I, and our guys mentioned that here right before the pick there they said you know the first couple of games in the Memorial Cup and, and you know I, I, again they've been watching him all year and they've seen him uh, rise up to those occasions and that and we're looking forward to that. Our guys on the set were talking about the last time that you, the LA Kings chose number 11 it was back in 2005 a guy named Andre Kopitar, are you hoping lightning strikes twice? Yeah, uh, uh, Kopi uh, reminded me of that the other day. He said, remember what happened last time with that 11th pick? So we, we hope for the same. All right, well, good luck to you, Rob. Thanks so much. Thank you.